Hi. In this particular video, let's uh, discuss uh, the special senses. Functions of the middle ear. The middle ear performs three important functions uh, that can be remembered very, very easily. First, middle ear transmits the sound from the external ear into the inner ear. Second, enhanced transmission of sound from the external ear to the inner ear. And third, decreased transmission of sound from external ear into the inner ear. So, transmits the sound, increased transmission of the sound, and decreased transmission of sound. All three functions are performed by the middle ear. Let's look at them one by one. As you all are aware, uh, our auditory apparatus has the external ear. Then the middle ear has these structures, the tympanic membrane and a chain of ossicles. The malleus, the incus and the stepes. Malleus has got a handle then uh, there is incus as in anvil incus has a shape of an anvil and the step is with a foot plate now this foot plate is facing the oval window of the inner ear so here is the inner ear the cochlea which has got organ for transduction of the sound and therefore, let's see uh, the functions of middle ear one by one. Now, first, transmission of sound. As sound waves uh, travel through the air and they enter the ear, they pass through the external ear. What happens is those sound waves put the tympanic membrane uh, into vibrations. Now, these vibrations are then transmitted through this chain of ossicles that is uh, malleus, incus and stepes so that as the handle of malleus moves inward the food plate of stepes this is the food plate of the stepes ossicle uh, it moves towards the oval window so that the sound waves now traveling through the middle ear finally enter the inner ear through the oval window. What happens next? We will see that in some another video. Uh, basically, the sound waves will fall on the basilar membrane and on the basilar membrane, there are basilar fibers. On the basilar fibers, there is organ of corti. Organ of corti is uh, said to be the organ for the transduction of sound. The sound waves or the pressure in the sound waves will be uh, converted into the electrical potentials by those by that organ of corti which contains hair cells. So that's uh, the first function of the middle ear. Transmission of sound that has entered the ear, those are transmitted from the external ear into the inner ear. Second function is the impedance matching. Now, it should be first understood what that impedance is. Sound waves first travel through the air from the source of the sound. And then they enter the ear, external and middle ear. Finally, when they reach the inner ear, they are going to cause, uh, they are going to be converted into electrical potentials. Now, this inner ear contains fluids so this is going to be an impedance to the sound look the sound traveled through the air first but then it has to move through the fluids it has to move through the fluids 
and uh, as it entered the inner ear moving through the fluids in the cochlea in the inner ear it has to simulate the organ of corti therefore fluid is going to be the impedance and that is overcome by the middle ear and that is called as impedance matching the mismatch is overcome now what is this impedance matching there are two factors in the impedance matching how the middle ear enhances the sound transmission as i said at the start that transmission of sound into the inner ear enhanced transmission of sound into the inner ear and depressed decreased transmission of sound into the inner ear the three functions we are looking at the second function how enhanced transmission is possible now um, there are two factors in the impedance matching one tympanic membrane vibrates as the sound uh, strikes the tympanic membrane it vibrates the surface area of the tympanic membrane is uh, roughly about 55 meter square whereas the surface area of the foot plate of stapes because you see those vibrations of the tympanic membrane are going to be transmitted through this small area that is the foot plate of stapes it is going to move near the oval window and that is how uh, sound waves will travel into the inner ear so a uh, foot plate of stapes has got a surface area of about 3.2 mm square and that means surface area of the tympanic membrane is roughly about 17 times the surface area of foot plate of stapes the surface area of this tympanic membrane is roughly about 17 times that of the foot plate of stapes which means what which means those vibrations of the tympanic membrane caused by the sound sound wave they will be concentrated 17 times over a small area of the foot plate of stapes as the sound waves enter the inner ear 17 times concentration of those sound waves the second factor is about the auricular chain when the sound uh, strikes the tympanic membrane and uh, handle of malleus moves this is the handle of the malleus when handle of malleus moves the auricular chain uh, has been designed in such a way has been oriented in such a way that whenever the handle of malleus moves uh the sound wave being transmitted through the malleus incus stapes via the movement of ossicles the foot plate of stapes moves with 1.3 times greater force that is how the ossicular chain uh has been oriented that the sound strikes the tympanic membrane the malleus moves handle of malleus moves uh the stapes will move with 1.3 times greater force so now we have two factors which are going to cause enhanced transmission of the sound therefore the product of these two factors is 22 it means 22 times greater force is generated by the middle ear mechanisms when the sound comes via external ear 22 times greater force is generated uh, uh, or created by uh, or rather uh, 22 times greater force is generated by the middle ear mechanisms as the sound will enter the inner ear why it was necessary because the fluids in the cochlea therefore sound the pressure wave of that sound has to generate an extra force as it moves through the fluids in the cochlea so that's a uh, Uh, second uh, factor or second function of middle ear uh, that is enhanced transmission of the sound third function is decreased transmission decreased or decrease in the intensity of sound transmission that function is also performed by the middle ear and that function is called as attenuation reflex 
Now, why decrease transmission? When, when we already said that there are fluids in the cochlea, we need to generate more pressure, more force uh, while the sound moves through the inner ear, the fluids. Well, sometimes there are loud sounds, either sudden loud sounds or even continuous loud sounds. Sounds with very high intensity, they would create a much higher pressure. And those pressure waves, if they are further amplified by the middle ear mechanisms, we saw 22 times amplification by the middle ear mechanisms. If the uh, already intense sound is further amplified while it is entering the inner ear, that pressure is likely to damage the inner ear. It is likely to, da to damage the organ of corti and hair cells. That extra, extra intensity, extra pressure generated in the inner ear. That is likely to damage the inner ear. And therefore, uh, what is developed is called as attenuation reflex. It would in fact dampen the intensity of the sound as it enters the inner ear. How does that happen? Well, there are two muscles which are uh, uh, handling these ossicles, ossicular chain. They are, they are the stapedius muscle and tensor tympani muscle. The stapedius muscle and the tensor tympani muscle. Well, this is just a diagrammatic representation uh, for those muscles. So what happens is in attenuation reflex, when a, a loud intensity sound comes into the ear, there is contraction of the tensor tympani and stapedius muscles. This is a reflex. So this is going to be a reflex contraction of those two muscles. What happens as a result is the entire ossicular chain goes into rigidity. Entire ossicular chain is going to go into rigidity. So this time what is going to happen? As the handle of malleus moves inward, stepes is not going to move inward and push the sound waves into the inner ear. The stepes will move outward. So you got to imagine this a little bit that handle of malleus moves inward towards the inner ear and stepes bone or stepes ossicle moves outward this time. And because of that, the entire ossicular chain goes into rigidity. This is how uh, the sound transmission uh, or rather its intensity reaching the inner ear will be dampened. That the stepes, the food plate of stepes is not aligning with the oval window, rather it is moving away and it's creating a rigidity because of the contractions of tensor tympani and stapedius muscles. And that rigidity will dampen the pressure in that sound wave. So that's called as attenuation reflex. It takes about 40 milliseconds uh, to develop. This uh, reflex develops in about 40 milliseconds. So if the sound waves reach before that, it is said that they can still damage the inner ear. So latency for this reflex is about 40 milliseconds. But that's attenuation reflex and that's the f uh, another function of the middle ear. So transmission of sound, enhanced transmission of sound, depressed transmission of sound. All three functions performed by our middle ear.